Hey, it's Tip for Tuesday, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, did you know that the weather here in Seattle, better yet, the Pacific Northwest, I think, in the next couple of days is going to really suck? Yeah. In case you haven't been paying attention to the news or looking at the upcoming forecast here in the Pacific Northwest region, it's going to start to get really, really cold towards the latter part of this week. Yeah, we're talking about weather in the 30s, maybe upper 20s with snow. Now for us here in the Pacific Northwest, that's a big change because that's something we were expecting back in December, which temperatures as we know during that time were a lot milder than they usually are. So it's gonna get really, really cold. It's kind of like I call Mother Nature pulling a, a psych on us, right? Remember, I, I, I guess I'm old, I'm, I'm maybe dating myself. I don't even know if kids use the word psych anymore. You know, we used to throw something, tease someone and they would psych. Well, I think that's what uh, Mother Nature did. And that's the reason I came up with this tip for Tuesday. Hey guys, before I move on, Julian Gonzalez with RSVP Real Estate, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, it's very humbling that you guys always uh, tune into my channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already, maybe throw in a little like, subscribe to my channel. That'd be great if you even consider it because I know there's so many options out there in social media to subscribe on and just, oh, another one. I'd greatly appreciate it if you do at least to my channel. Down below, have any comments, maybe suggestions for any future tips I could share with the rest of our community here on my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Anyways, okay, let's move on. In my channel, I have a playlist. And one of the playlists is a show that I do called I Wish I Had Known That. And I kind of came up with it several years ago, kind of uh, decided to do a show that kind of helped home buyers and home sellers avoid mistakes from other home buyers and home sellers. Kind of help them avoid those words. Oh, I wish I had known that. So it kind of helps you avoid some problems down the road and a lot of headaches, right? So I did one of the episodes I did last winter and it had to do with chimneys. I met a guy at a trade show who is a chimney expert. That's what he does, that's his job. He repairs them, cleans, does everything to him. And he's explained to me that no, just chimneys, you just don't light it up, which that's what I thought people did. You put some logs, light it up and you walk away and you get warm, that's it, you're done. Oh no. There's a lot more things involved and things that you need to address to protect your family. That's right, that's what I didn't know. And in fact, he told me some crazy stories of involving animals and chimneys. Dead animals, live animals, it'll blow your mind. In fact, you know what, I'm gonna put the link up here. Click on it and it'll stay, take you straight to that video, even down below in the description. I'll also put the little link, kind of look at that a video. And Randy just kind of the, the expert, the chimney expert, Andy, he was gonna tell you some crazy stories uh, of, of uh, his experiences with chimneys, but also what to look for. It's the most amazing thing, guys. I had no idea. I thought maybe uh, maybe the bricks kind of get a little loose. I'm like, okay, it doesn't look good. But in fact, what's inside is the most important thing. In fact, if you bought a house, let's say this past year, or past year, now we're in 2023, right? Sometimes 2023, especially in the spring, summer, there's a very good chance, a highly good chance that your home inspector didn't check the actual inside of a tunnel. Maybe they see a little break, they'll point that out and say, hey, the, the, the uh, I guess the neck of the chimney, uh, some bricks are loose, they'll call that out. But the inside, they don't check that. And that's the most important thing. Because one thing I learned is that there's a lot of buildup there that could be, believe it or not, a fire hazard. Three months ago, I'm gonna say, met a dude, uh, very nice guy. And we're talking about chimney. He brought that up. He said that his sister had lit up a chimney and fire shot out. It's like a movie with Chevy Chase on it, right? Just the fire just ch shut out. He goes, nobody got hurt, but the fire did just back up. I didn't know that could happen until Randy, the chimney expert, told me about it. And he kind of proved it. It does, it does pose a great, great uh, hazard in your house. So now with the, again, weather getting a little bit cold, you want to check those out. Now, from what I remember, it doesn't cost a lot of money, but if anything, guys, if you're selling your house this year, next year, you can use that in your marketing remarks in your listing. Say, hey, you know what? And we've got an added feature for the safety of your family, your children, is that we cleaned out the chimney. So guys, check it out in my playlist. The uh, show is called, I Wish I Had Known That. The episode, you can find it right there. It's a chimney. And I hope you learned something for that in order to keep yourself and your family safe. And of course, stay warm. Good luck.